Can you just talk us through the fight a little bit? I mean, kind of in contrast to the first one, it seems like you know things were kind of going good until they weren't. Uh, is that how you felt about it, more or less? Uh, I think so. I mean, I felt like I was doing pretty good. Uh, uh, yeah, I felt like I was doing pretty good. But then he uh, he landed he landed that shot in the fourth. In the fourth round, he landed some good body punches. And he landed that right hand that I didn't see. And he got the finish. He did a great job. Yeah, what do you think made that approach so effective? Like, were you tiring at that point? And maybe that's why the body work worked so well in the fourth as opposed to maybe earlier in the fight? I kind of, I mean, I kind of took the pressure off a little bit. I don't know if, I don't know why. Like, maybe try to take a, maybe try to, like, rest and recover for the fifth round because he wasn't going anywhere. I don't know what the reasoning behind it was. Um, but obviously it was a mistake. Right. And I know Joe Rogan kind of asked you about the future and stuff in the cage. Uh, that was obviously immediately in the aftermath. I know it hasn't been too long, but have you had any more time to think about your future? Uh, you know, a lot of times you base decisions and we base decisions in emotion. I don't want to be that guy, you know, so I'm going to go back and talk to Selena and talk to my, my, uh, my coaches and we'll, we'll, figure, we'll figure out what, what's next. DC, um, I wanted to ask you just tactically, you were going in a lot of, especially in the second half of the fight with your hands down a lot of the way. Were you that confident like that, you know, you were able to just walk in there and, and land those shots? Problem is like, the problem is I was, I like was going and he was hitting me, but then they didn't feel like, I didn't feel that much, you know, and it's not about like the shots that you take, you know, it's, it's, it's the one that you just don't see coming. And that was a, Great combination by Stipe off of that body shot. He threw that one-two right behind it, and uh, I didn't, I didn't see it. You know, a lot of times I see punches and kind of roll with them, so I don't take the full brunt of the punch. But on that one, uh, he landed, he landed perfect. It's a difficult thing to ask in the aftermath of a loss, but when you get stopped in a fight like that, I'm sure you had no thought that you were going to be stopped. Does that compare to the, the kick to the head by Jones? I mean, or, you know, is this a different type of feeling because there's not the animosity? Just losing is just, losing is just terrible for me. You know, I'm a competitive guy. and um, Just losing any type of fight is just terrible. But, you know, being finished is just, to me, is just insane, you know. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I never really thought about them in comparison to each other, you know, but... You know, that's twice I've been stopped. That's not good, you know, so I'm, I'm smart enough to understand that. Lastly, uh, he came in, I think, 11 and a half pounds lighter and uh, the lightest he's ever been by far in the UFC. Did that in make a difference in his quickness? And did you notice he was any faster than he was last time? I didn't feel like he was faster. I really didn't. But um, I think in some instances he may be tired a little bit more. And I think tonight he may not have tired as much as he did prior when he was bigger. Um, but he didn't feel faster. Uh, I still felt like I could see what he was throwing, but um, I thought he just fought a good fight, you know? And I, I don't know, like, we fought, what, three and a half, f almost four rounds? You know, so, I mean, I don't really know. Like, I haven't, <clears throat> I haven't watched the fight, so I don't know how I was doing in the fight, you know, like, Everything's going so fast in there, so I don't know, you know, how I was doing in regards to uh, winning and losing. I felt like I was doing good, but, um, you know, obviously he, he finished the fight, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> DC down here is your right. Uh, you had success in the first round with wrestling. Yeah. A nice slam, and you were in, in top control. Uh, did you think about going back to that? Was that part of the strategy, or you didn't really go back to it? That was the strategy. You know, my, that's probably the biggest letdown is how I let my coaches down. They were begging me to wrestle. Um, and that's probably the most disappointing thing is that I didn't do <clears throat> what I was trained to do. Uh, and I feel like I let my coaches down, <clears throat> let them down. Was there any reason why you didn't go back to it just in, in the moment? Or? You know, I think you when you start finding success and landing things, you just kind of fall in love with it. You know, I... I I feel it feels like the Gustafson fight all over again when 
I wrestled a lot in the first round, and then for the last four rounds, I just didn't. And they were begging me to do it then. But tonight, I actually paid the ultimate price for not listening to my coaches. Usually pretty good about doing that. And you landed 181 uh, significant strikes, which is actually the most uh, in a loss in UFC history. What's that? Uh, you landed the most significant strikes in a loss in UFC history. It's actually I, tied with your boy, Max Holloway. I didn't even, uh, I didn't know how many times I hit him. I just know that I was hitting him and I could see him getting marked up, you know, and I think you fall in love with the visuals of a guy's face getting marked up. In the, in the first fight, you hit him with that one shot in the clinch and he went down and he, and he was done. Were you surprised that he was able to take as much punishment as he did? No, I, I, I knew he had a good chin. You know, I, I knew the first time because that, that punch I've landed prior and the guys didn't go down. So um, I knew it would be different. I anticipated a long fight. And uh, Kevin asked you about Stipe size, but you were also uh, significantly lighter in this fight than you were against Derek Lewis and you were against Stipe the first time. What was the strategy there? Because I figured it would be a longer fight. I figured that he wasn't going anywhere. You know, I, I understand the motivation in the rematch and uh, I figured he was gonna be there for the long run, which he was. <clears throat> Just a couple more questions. Thanks, Daniel. Daniel, you had a your Daniel. Your first fight was four and a half minutes. The second one was about nineteen. What was the biggest difference you think in Stipe's improvement this time around? I just think that I mean, I, I, I he <clears throat> he's always been good, you know. He's always been very good, you know. So I guess tonight's fight was the fight I expected the first time. You know, that's that's kind of what I uh, I felt like it was. That was the fight I expected the first time. And then specifically, you don't seem that you really knew what was happening in the fight. Did you think you were winning? And uh, are you pleased with the overall performance that you put? Uh, you can't, it's hard to be pleased in a loss. But I mean, I felt like I was winning. I felt like I was winning the fight. I felt like I was hitting them a lot more than I was getting hit. Um, but, you know, I guess I, I guess I, I mean, I, even if I was winning, I was winning until I wasn't, you know. And, doesn't matter. Ultimately, the, uh, the end result is what matters. That's it. Hey, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you.